Alan, hope that was useful. Let's wrap this one up. We're going to wrap this one up from Australia. <laughs> John, um, John is asking about modeling up a pyramid. Um, so, Lars, thank you so much for your tutorials. You're so much very welcome. I have a question on aligning the edges of an object rather than faces. So edges instead of faces. I hope you could help me out. I found a workaround on a project, blah, blah, blah. But I'm trying to find a better way to do it. All right. He sent me another image like this to uh, how do we do this in, uh, in Fusion 360. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking the glass is probably where we're going to play around with it. And I would, again, I would cheat. Uh, but I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. <laughs> Just because this is the last one. Um, I would probably, if it was me, John, I would actually probably start out by drawing a center rectangle, something like this. And let's make it 200 by 200. And uh, when I extrude it uh, up here, I would probably grab this one and start adding some, uh, some taper to it. Now you're like, yeah, okay, uh, that's all great. And then you could go in and do a shell right and do like whoops not 50 five millimeter right so now you kind of have your your glass there um and then if you if this is just still not good enough you want it as individual components i would actually probably go in if i was going to model this off from scratch i'll probably go in and say plane through two edges so like this edge so like this adds that will give me a plane that goes through those two edges and i would use a split body so like that do a like that now i just turned it into two different components um and then i would create one more because this is how lazy i am do the same thing split body split this body with this Split, right click, split this body with this. And now I ended up with four different bodies. Now you probably want them maybe to be components because you, you, you want it to be, to be different. Then you could just go in and select them all and do create components from bodies. And since they're all in place, um, if you now, because they can move around now, you could just go in and say as built. So one of them has to be nailed down. So one has to be grounded. So I'll just right click and ground on one of them. Now you could go in and do as built joint. So like this to this, make that rigid, right click, repeat this to this, that is rigid, right click, repeat this to this and make that rigid. And now you have actually accomplished the end result. That's how I would probably start out by doing this. And now there's some people who's yelling at me, but um, that's probably what I would do. Now, in case you didn't do this, <laughs> some people are like, yeah, that's all great. Let me just go down here and let's get all the way back to um, maybe to where this was components. Um, let's say that these components were all flying around like out in space, right? Uh, they're all like this out in space. They're not even, some of them are, are even like rotated upside down, things like that. And I'm just going to capture that position. Um, how would I put them together? Uh, edges instead of faces. So I would still make, we still got to make one of them. This one is the one I didn't move. We still got to make that one grounded. That's always a must. But when it comes to put these together, that is when you can use the joint. Um, and now if I went over to this one right here and I made sure that I snap this coin to have it hovered over the face and then snap it to this corner right here. And you actually said you wanted to do it on an ad, but we could do too, but um, like that. And then if we go down to the one that we didn't move and we then did that and we flip it it's 
So this coin, it's because I moved it around. <laughs> uh, let me do it on this. It should fit. If we select the right face, it will do it. Uh, this edge here. I just got to select the right face. Then it will come back into into place. Um, I just don't have to. Actually, what I would actually probably do with this one is I would actually probably to make my life easier. I might actually move it closer and rotate it. Use a move command to get it a little bit closer to what I want. So I can actually see my problem was that I kind of lost track of uh, where I was placing this. And then they will come to place. Now you did say in the that you rather wanted to do edges than than faces. All right. So if you gotta create a, um, it, you can create a join origin. Uh, so if I select the join origin, if you don't want to select any faces, um, you can select the join origin here. And if I select the midpoint here, you get these, you get these hands you can drive along and then if you just snap on the end point it's going to snap to that end point and now you have a joint origin that is not using a face but it's actually using this edge for uh, for that and you could use that now because my edges are not flat would means that if i go in and use a joint on there so that newly constructed joint origin it's not going to sit right but the two joint origins will, will line up um, so that's another option you have there. That was about an hour and 15 minutes. So, almost. Hope that was useful. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, that's okay. Thumbs down. Somehow I hope that you find use out of these videos. I'm going to do what I normally do. I am going to uh, chop these off and uh, share them out during the week. But uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. And uh, until the next time, I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Take care, folks. Thank you.